Our third competitors today are SnapDX from Canada, and they are represented by Aravind Ganesh. Good morning, everybody. Uh, bonjour tout le monde. Je m'appelle Aravind. My name is Dr. Aravind Ganesh. I am the co-founder and chief medical officer at SnapDX. And I'm here to talk to you today about how we're changing the clinical practice of medicine using our uniquely designed, evidence-based electronic tools. I'm sorry, but I just wasted 15 seconds of your time. Unfortunately, the system that physicians work in makes us experts at wasting time. My patients can attest to this. They know that to get an appointment with me as a specialist, they have to wait on average 60 days. And once they actually arrive at the clinic, they have to wait on average another half an hour before they can actually see me. And what happens then? Well, at that point, I begin to waste my time. Physicians, on average, spend one-third of their time on documentation, which has very little to do with actual clinical care and patient care. And what does that mean? Well, that means that I have precious little time to even examine my patients anymore, and even little time to actually explain the diagnosis and treatment plan to my patients. And then what happens once that poor, frustrated patient leaves my clinic? Well, at that point, I begin to waste money. Physicians are responsible for wasting up to $500 billion annually in North America alone on unnecessary tests and interventions. And if you think that means better care for you and your family, sadly, you are mistaken. Because patients receive only 55% of the recommended care set out by basic best practice guidelines. So what are we doing about this at SnapDX? Well, first of all, we're taking the distribution of time in a typical consult, and then flipping it around to open up 22% more free time for the physician. We do this by drastically shortening the documentation time and improving efficiencies throughout the clinical visit. How do we do this? Well, let me show you. So it starts out while the patient is actually waiting in the waiting room and getting frustrated. SnapDX uses waiting time as history gathering time. Let's play the video, gentlemen. So as you can see, this video is actually very intuitive. The data that's been entered by the patient is imported into a physician interface where the physician can actually enter in additional information guided by best practice guidelines. And all the information is being aggregated in real time to give you a working diagnosis, differential, and treatment plan. When it's time for the physical exam, SnapDX feeds back unique clinical findings that you can look for at the bedside to validate your clinical suspicions and decide on further testing. And then you can feed that information back to the patient in the form of easily understood graphics to explain to them why they need to do the recommendations you've suggested, and you can provide them with the evidence behind it. Side effects can be explained intuitively in a grid-like format where the size of each box actually corresponds to the risk of the side effect. And then finally, you can show the patient the impact that the suggested interventions will have on their actual health. All of the information is exported at a click of a button to a detailed PDF note that's just as good as any dictation, saving you your documentation time. And not only that, at a click of a button, you get to see trials that are open and currently recruiting that your patient is eligible for. In the meantime, SnapDX aggregates the clinical data, comes up with patterns in real time for analysis that you can use to better care in your clinic. And it also shows you where you stand compared to all the other physicians around you in terms of hemoglobin A1C for diabetes management, for example. Let's return to the presentation. I know that's a lot of information, but let me break it down for you. It all comes back down to the clinical visit. Starts out with the patient in the waiting room getting frustrated, but with SnapDX, that's history gathering time. And we deliver our targeted patient questionnaires in an electronic format that makes history gathering an engaging process. And let me tell you, 90% of patients and physicians actually prefer this method of gathering history compared to the conventional interview. And a big reason is that we end up picking up information that is typically missed, but that is critical for patient care. 
Next up in the patient visit, the patient finally has the chance to see a nurse, a clinician, or perhaps, you know, the physician herself. And at that point, SnapDX feeds back relevant bedside findings that they can look for in clinic to decide whether additional expensive testing is necessary. Consider Pedro from the look see do presentation, for example. He's come to me with a suspicious headache. You know, he's, we, don't, we don't know if this is uh, due to something sinister, but we use SnapDX and we're able to figure out already that there's an 89% chance that this is actually not because of anything sinister. And then so we're able to avoid expensive CT scanning. We've just saved the system money, people. Let's move on. You know, SnapDX has aggregated all of the evidence and it has come up with a working diagnosis, workup plan, and treatment plan. But what's next? Well, it's that point in the appointment when, you know, I'm usually able to explain to the patient the details of their diagnosis and treatment plan. But the, un un the unfortunate thing is 40 to 80% of that information is forgotten immediately. Let's face it, folks. How many of you actually remembers my name right now? But what do we do about this at SnapDX? Well, let me show you. We take all of that information we gathered, we feed it back to the patient in the form of infographics that can be easily understood. So the patient up there in this cardiovascular clinic example is the blue dot. We're able to tell him, hey, you're in the orange zone for cardiovascular risk. Using the recommendations on the left, we're gonna shift you back into the green where you should be at your age. Explaining side effects is a piece of cake with SnapDX. Let me show you. So, you know, Instead of giving them 70 odd side effect listings, we're able to show them a grid diagram where the size of each box actually corresponds to the risk of experiencing a side effect, and it's color coded. Absence of side effects is green, mild side effects are yellow, then orange, and then the most important ones are in red. So the patient understands what you're saying, and they're part of the decision making process. And let me tell you, this is based on world class research from Harvard University that has shown that this is the best way to convey memorable information to anybody. All right, so what happens next? Well, the patient has left the SnapDX clinic feeling confident about their diagnosis and treatment plan, but SnapDX isn't done yet. We're busy aggregating the data that was just collected in clinic to provide you with real-time analytics. Why is this important? Well, unfortunately, under current circumstances, only 4% of all the data that you and I enter in clinic is available for any kind of analysis or research. And that's mission-critical information that the system needs to decide how to better patient care. But thanks to SnapDX, we've collected all the data electronically, we've stored it in the cloud, and it's available for real-time analytics. So let me show you an example. So here's the distribution of average patient hemoglobin A1C values at a SnapDX diabetes clinic. You can see that Dr. Mehta on the left-hand side is doing an excellent job controlling his patient's diabetes. But Dr. Johnny on that right side there, him and I, we gotta have a chat tomorrow about his diabetes care. Okay, so the next aspect is also clinical research. With SnapDX, at a click of a button, we're able to randomize patients into trials that are open and recruiting that they're eligible for. It's that easy. So what have we accomplished at SnapDX? Well, we've built a smart, dynamic interface that integrates best practice evidence and makes physicians better clinicians, better educators, and better researchers. And they can accomplish all of that with that 22% free time that I opened up for them. And the patient's able to go home feeling confident in their care and better empowered with the information they need to take care of their health. We're currently validating all our tools in London, Ontario, Calgary, Alberta, with hospitals and pharmacies. We've engaged multiple guideline organizations and we're driving research in, uh, in stroke and in bone and joint health. I'd like to acknowledge our partners. I'd like to show you the references that have guided my talk today. And I'm open for questions at this point. I know I wasted 15 seconds of your time in the beginning, but I'm finishing ahead of time. That's what we do at SnapDX. We save the system time and money. And if you'd like to invest in us, well, now is the time. Thank you.